All right, guys, welcome to Transmit the 1075 as well as um, Cybertruck One. It's going to be uh, the same video for two different channels that I have. Um, just to, for starters, um, I'm a Tesla owner. There's my S right there. I'm also a career firefighter, retired, and this is actually my department. We cover the New Jersey Turnpike and see hundreds of car fires. Um, every year so if if there is anything i'm good at or have a vast knowledge about it's car fires um but this isn't a this isn't an anti-tesla video actually it's just more about getting an understanding and educating ourselves about what to do in situations like this um this vehicle was involved in a in an accident this is a a salvage area i think where they can take repo vehicles and so forth and at some point this vehicle caught fire uh, right here in the battery pack. Um, I have some images. I wasn't here for the incident. I will post them when, uh, in, in conjunction with this video when I'm done. Um, but the guys came over here today. Um, there was a fire here in this front corner. I guess this wheel got tore off during this, the motor vehicle accident. Anyway, the guys were, had a perfect scenario here where they had one of these, um, front end loaders, forklifts, whatever you want to call it. And we're able to flip this thing over so that they could have access to uh, the vehicle. They uh, use the, basically the jaws uh, that we have, like the jaws of life, as most people know them as, and pried open the, uh, the covering here. And we're able to access the battery and extinguish this quite quickly. Uh, whereas in many cases, you're trying to def bounce that water off the bottom and you don't really have that great of access I have to be honest, guys, I'm a Tesla owner. I know a lot about Teslas, a lot about firefighting, particularly car fires, and I am just as ignorant in many, in many cases as to how exactly to address these uh, problems. Um, let it be known that, you know, I'm still not anti-EV. You know, uh, something like one, once every 14 or 16 seconds, uh, a ICE uh, internal combustion engine uh, car catches fire. So. We've never, my department, we covered the New Jersey, New Jersey Turnpike, which is one of the top five, I suspect, busiest roads in America. And I've never been on an EV fire before. So my whole career, 25 years, I never went to an EV fire. Granted, some of that, they didn't have them at the beginning. But um, my department, even the three other tours, never had one until today. So this is not something that occurs a lot. And so it's not something we should be, should be making national news every time one catches fire. That being said, uh, the technology needs to improve so that you don't have to flip vehicles over or have or maybe that the batteries don't catch fire or there's a better There's better ways of doing things and I'm sure Tesla and all the other EV manufacturers are doing that Anyhow, I just wanted to show you this today uh, Show you what the guys did. I thought it was quite brilliant um, as the technology changes again I know enough to be dangerous uh, Tesla is coming out with um, structural battery packs, which um, in this case, the batteries are, in, are sitting in here, but they're not, they're not the actual structure of the frame of the vehicle. That's changing, I think, on the Y and, and 3 and the Cybertruck. And uh, speaking of, I think this, is a, this appears to be a 3 in my... It's hard to tell when it's upside down, but you can tell by the handles right here, right? That style handle is either an S or a Y. And I, I think this is... A, excuse me, uh, uh, a Y or a three. And I think this is a, is a, is a three. Um, and there's no, there's no badging on the backside I saw here. So I'm not quite sure. Um, I, I guess that hatch that I, I'll, I'll be embarrassed if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a three. Anyhow, uh, this is what occurred today here in Robbinsville, New Jersey at the, uh, salvage depot and how the guys effectively extinguish this by prying open um oh i think i know what i was saying with the structural battery pack i might be as time goes on prying open the this uh skin here uh may may be more dangerous than it was right now i don't think i think it was fine that they did this but i think there's some risk as the structural uh battery packs come about but again i really don't know i'm not an engineer i don't work for tesla and there isn't a lot of information for firefighters out there. So uh, maybe that's something that has to improve over the next several years is like letting guys know how to 
manage this better and ultimately having engineering uh, design so that maybe this can't happen or that there's not runaway uh, fires on the batteries. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the channel here and uh, we'll see you at the next one.